I cannot stress this enough. No drivers. Get you a freaking CB. Get you a CB. That way you know what's coming up ahead. What's up, YouTube? Welcome back to Breaking Truckers. Get you a freaking CB. Get you a CB. Drivers, you need a CB. You got to get a CB. A CB will probably save your situation. No more wasting time. Let's get it. Hold on. Get it. Get it. Get it. I cannot stress this enough. No drivers. Get you a freaking CB. Get you a CB. That way you know what's coming up ahead. All right, guys, you heard it for yourself. So uh, let's talk about it. Let's talk about this unfortunate situation. Uh, all up, coming up, or anything like that. Or do you guys agree with this young lady? I mean, I have a CB. I stress the fact that everybody should have a CB. I don't think that you personally should be responsible for a CB, especially if it's not your truck. And I say this because a lot of companies that you drive for don't equip their trucks with CBs. For me, the last four companies that I have the pleasure of driving for equipped it, their truck with CBs. I did get a CB when I drove for US Express because they didn't have one. They didn't offer it. They felt that getting a CB for the truck was not their responsibility, but it's their truck though, <laughs> you know? Look, CBs come in handy. Old school drivers know what CBs can do for them. These new school drivers that's coming in here, talking about they don't want CBs, they don't need a CB, they don't, <laughs> why would they need a CB if they got a phone, yada, yada, yada. CBs is just, it's, 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 it's a must-have, especially in incumbent weather like this, all right? Now, unfortunately, for the context of the previous video that she stitched, it's just unfortunate that, you know, they don't know what's going on ahead of time. Even if they did have a CB and did they know what was going on ahead of time, like a slowdown, crash, or whatever the case, sometimes you probably might have to be in that little, that little pocket in order to get the information needed, and then it will already be too late. All right? So that's, that's, that's number one. Number two, of course... I jumped, I, I jumped into the uh, comment session and, uh, and this guy, this is the most stupidest comment that I ever seen. I, I, I must say, I, I have to say that this is the most dumbest comment that I ever seen, but the dude says, I don't need a CB. I make $2,500 a week. Home daily, only drive in Florida, GA, Alabama. I don't see snow. Oh, my God. Really, bro? Really, bro? You, you think getting a CB, you need a CB because of the snow? No. Just because you drive in Florida, GA in Alabama doesn't mean that you don't see no issues. I drive through Florida, Alabama, and Georgia. A lot of a, a lot of traffic slow down, especially on 285, man. A lot of accidents that you might not be a privy to, might not even know what lane to get in before before you get in that lane. A CB comes in handy regardless if it's snowing outside or if it's not snowing outside it's just good to have one just to know what the what's what's going on in traffic bro now you must be a new driver and you want to emphasize the fact that you make twenty five hundred dollars a week and you're home daily so what who cares what you make big deal bro the thing about it is, is you saving your money? Is you putting your money to good use? Who cares how much you make? 
See, that's the problem with you newfound TikTok drivers out here. Y'all want to emphasize the fact that y'all make a whole lot of money, but don't do nothing with it. Get out of here. So a new driver will see this comment and be like, oh, well, since he's making $2,500 a week, I can do that. And I don't need a CB either. Bro, you need a CB. All right. For those that don't have a CB, I don't know the reason why y'all don't have one, but I can tell you all the excuses for you not to have one is not valid. It's not valid, bro. It's not valid. Just because you have a, a, a cell phone, you don't need a CB. I heard that excuse. But what if your cell phone go out? What if you go into a dead zone? What, what if your battery runs out on your cell phone? Then what? Then what? You're going to be stuck in the ditch somewhere without no, without no communications. A CB will help you in that situation. Could turn it on 19, 20, or whatever the case, whoever's out there listening, you could tell them that, hey, call 50 and let them know I'm in a ditch somewhere. And with that said, they will come swing by and swoop you on up. Especially if you don't have no sales service. All right, that's it, drivers. That's my thoughts. What's yours? Leave it in the comments below. Big G's got it locked. Security, me, your feelings now.